Can you remind us of the background to this case? Yes, Colette. Well, Keen Mulready Woods was reported missing by his mother on January 13, 2020, and partial remains belonging to the teenager were found at various locations in Dublin in the following days, with further remains found in Drada in County Louth last year. Now, acting on foot of confidential information, Garthy obtained a warrant to search a property belonging to Jared McKenna at Rothmullen Park in County Drada. And when they went to this property, they immediately suspected that a had been made to clean up the scene there. There had been recent painting done and parts of the floor in a lounge had been uh, replaced and furniture had been removed from the scene. Upon technical examination, blood belonging to Keen Mulready Woods was found at this house. Garthy also found a fire nearby and they recovered a number of of items from this fire, including a ballistic stab vest and Swiss Army knives containing the victim's blood. 52-year-old Jared McKenna uh, pleaded guilty late last year to assisting an offender in the context of Keen Mulready Woods's murder by cleaning up and removing evidence from the scene uh, at his home where it's believed that the 17-year-old was murdered. Now, sentencing him today, Mr Justice Paul McDermott said he didn't know at the time when he allowed his house to be used that a murder was going to take place. He wasn't present for the murder, but he said that he was remorseful and that he had known Keen Mulready Woods since birth. But the judge said today that the horrific and grotesque murder of a young boy, he said this was a very serious offence to participate in. And he said that turning a blind eye and assisting criminal gangs was the bedrock to their success. And taking everything into account, he jailed Jared McKenna for four years, backdated 21st went into custody.